we all say I, but what do we understand or feel or take I to be? What is this life? And who are we in this life? Where did we come from? Where are we going? Is there a going place after you finish this story in this body? Do you move on to something else? Because the body will fall, then is that it? Is that all there is to us? So these are ancient questions people have been asking like that, but few know inside the heart. When this body first appeared as a child, freshly entering into this field of life, it had no name. It did not come with a name stamped on the forehead. And after a while, uh, the child was given the name George, and, uh, Hello, Georgie, how are you? Oh, you're so beautiful. And It's hearing those sounds, but it's more feeling those vibrations. It can respond to the vibrations of love. Georgie, darling, how are you? This, this love vibration. But the name George, it doesn't know. But after this association for a while, somehow when the consciousness is ripe enough to absorb the impression through memory of the name George, then once that name was impressed in the consciousness, it's as though the name was never forgotten again. Who, who are we? child of our parents. The main assumption, we just assume that I am my body and my beliefs and the conditioning that arose in my body amounts to what I am. But this has not proven to be enough because with this belief, we still struggle to be happy. We still struggle to be, to understand who we are, what our purpose is, and, or whether we do have a purpose or something like this. Because as long as you are personal, we cannot read life truthfully. And so many things your mind will present. Yes, this thing to do, that thing to do. And it just keeps you on a treadmill of thinking, yeah, yes, you know, the next thing and the next thing. And pay very little attention to yourself. We are feeling that we are restless. You imagine something is going to make you happy, but after a short while, it doesn't make you happy. You look for something else to make you happy. And everything is only for a time. And everything is only in time. What is constant? Is there anything constant in life? Really? And, uh, and who would know? Is there a thing, something that you can know that gives you understanding about all things? Wise it would be to find what this thing is. Are 
understand what I means. Only those regarded as the sages in the human kingdom, the Buddhas and the Christs and so on, understood the power of I, the truth of I. And they found it in its true meaning to be so important that they forgot everything else. They forgot everything else, including themselves. They forgot everything else to find what this I is and where this I come from. And because they forgot everything else, including themselves, the whole world cannot stop remembering them. Who is the I that am? What is it? If am means to be, what does I mean? What is it? Only one who is looking inside to discover that without which the world cannot be perceived or seen. That without which the world, time, nothing, even God could not be known. What is this I that am and hear? Don't give this just to your mind. What is this I that I am here? Just in that intuition, the sense I am, don't allow it to connect with any thought or to run into any thinking or any imagery. See if the sense I am, that one just remains conscious of the sense I am, not just the words I am, but the sense I am without connected to something to make a statement. Just stay as I am. Don't get into imagination. It is not imagination. Feel, stay with it, and it will begin to reveal its own mystery. You will ta- get its juice, a taste of its juice, what it is. Don't read any book about it. Don't go to anybody else about it. Sit with this, I know I am here. First, be with yourself. This is greater than being with anybody. First, know how to be in with yourself. Not how to be, but you already are. Give a little attention to that purity. It is the first knowing. It is the first knowing. Before anything else can be known or perceived, it is here. So stay with this, and don't let imagination come, because imagination wants to come more. I love this. Like lots of things to imagine. No, no, don't have any of it. It may, in the beginning, you may find out just I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate. It's like a hundred and one things are coming up in my mind, as though to stop you from knowing I am. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, pizza come. <laughs> Oh, I like margarita. No, stuffed margarita. 
Today, I am. Just be with that. And you may experience, and if you feel some turbulence, some sort of woo energy, yeah, be aware of that, but don't go into that. It is being perceived in the presence of the I am. It is not the I am. But without the I am, it could not be perceived. But don't combine. It is going back the way you came. You came through the opening I am, and then forgot it, or dreamed you forgot it. Because even to forget it requires it to be there, because it is consciousness. It is there before everything, for any thought, any intention, anything, it is already here. You did not earn it. It is you. So just be with that, because the mind will tell you, listen, you know, you need to try and focus and uh, you know, really try and catch it, you know, really, really just try and catch the I am. You're coming close, but you're not there yet. If you have these kind of thoughts, you must throw them away. The natural feeling of I in you belongs to I am, not the person. Hmm? This we know, and stay with it. In the beginning, you may find it's easy to be distracted. Other thoughts are coming in, other things are coming in like this. Your mind becomes like a news page. So many things coming, so many things coming. But know and you recognize that's some kind of scam going on. And you stay with it. And gradually, by persisting, something just it's like the skies open, something opens. And you find just that you are here. And stay with it. Just be in that natural vibration. It's not a doing. It is an isness. And just to stay with this.